You read the title, let's get right to it. Time for me to talk my shit. And first up is gonna be vintage styling. And this style straight up just screams you can't talk bitches. Okay, you know what? Let me chill, let me relax. We're like, what, 10 seconds into the video? Now, if you're into vintage styling, you're probably young or you just got some tight pockets. So this aesthetic speaks to you a lot because you can get half this shit for a couple dollars from your average thrift store. Hell, the more worn and distressed this shit is, the more it plays into the whole vintage vibe. So any Americana, English style secondhand clothing plays really well to this look. Next, let's talk about workwear. And this one's a funny one because I saw some comments in my other video asking me about my thoughts on this, right? So I'm gonna say this, guys. I actually fuck with this aesthetic, right? And I think you guys started to wild the fuck out and take it a little too far with the whole role play with the whole paint splatters and the blowouts and the money prints. So I had a question from a younger viewer uh, asking me how I get my uh, bibs distressed like this and where he could buy a pair. In order to achieve this, you have to be in the sun, which means that during the process of all of this, you're outside. So I'm gonna say, if you're into workwear, unironically, right? You're probably a TikTok boy, but if you do wear this shit practically, then all respect for you. It's funny, right? Cause I remember watching TikToks and tutorials on how to like up your workwear game, right? And these niggas were telling you guys to rub rocks on your jeans and splatter paint all over your jackets just to add some detail to it. Like, come on, this shit is whack. Now let's talk avant-garde. And if this is you, my homie, you need to leave the house and touch some grass. All jokes aside though, if you are a dude who's into this, you're probably deep into the fashion game. Like, you're the type of dude who collects archive fashion magazines to read on your way to the museum or some shit. You're the type of dude who's up in those live streams or those runway shows. You're the first guy who knows about the Balenciaga drops and the Gucci drops and all that. Like, come on, man. You're a dude who prides himself on their mature and contrarian taste. And you know what? I can actually appreciate this sort of outlook on fashion, mainly because of how interesting and provocative a lot of the fashion can be, right? Like, the reason I said these niggas need to leave the house and touch grass is because I barely see anyone super deep in this avant-garde scene outside the internet. But you know what guys, maybe that's reflective of my country, Australia, right? Like, come on, I'm not exactly in a place filled with fashion. Next up is business school. And if this is you, I could tell you have never worked a day in your life in any corporate work. Like, come on, this one is for all the teens who idolize adulthood and the sweet, sweet capitalism. Now, I don't mind business school, it's just a little comedic to me since the whole black tie, corporate, white button up, which, you know, traditionally symbolizes professionalism, is now kind of being done by like these fashion motherfuckers and shit. But like, come on, what a time to be alive when you guys are wearing this shit and you get ready with me TikToks. Next up is Femboy and I don't even want to get cancelled here guys let's just skip this one. Next is streetwear and you're either young, black, skatercore, heavy into hip-hop culture or all of those, all those combined. Now I love streetwear myself right seeing as it speaks heavily to me right but not the homogenized cookie cutter streetwear right but the real raw expressive streetwear. The type of shit you see on the streets of London, New York, Paris like during fashion week you know like the type of shit the people who really take pride and love in the clothes they wear outside of a social media post. I feel like Streetwear is the most accessible aesthetic to a lot of people coming up in the fashion scene, mainly due to the mainstream popularity, but also because of the recognizability, right? Like a lot of these trends you see in celebrities, influencers, popular kids, like it's a style of dressing that's so intertwined into modern culture that we see it heavily influencing runway fashion. Streetwear was what got me into fashion and allowed me to kind of learn more about the whole thing, right? So, and it's kind of what inspired this channel. So let's give a love for streetwear, right? If you're into streetwear, you're my boy. Next is techwear. Now, if you're into techwear, right, I swear nine times out of 10, you gotta be Asian. And I'm sure there's still a thriving community for techwear in the scene right now, but this shit's definitely tapered down right from back to the day. I feel like Gorpcore is a more contemporary reimagining of techwear now, so that's what I'm more lean towards, right? So I'm a bit surprised if I do see any techwear niggas out there, right? Put your, drop a comment if you guys are still into this. Next up is Softboy, and I just, I gotta say this, if you're into this, you think you're cute. Not handsome, not gorgeous, not beautiful, nigga, you think you're cute. Now, next up on the list is Roadman, and my UK boys are gonna appreciate this one, right? But for anyone else who doesn't know what this is, basically, Think like a like a English gangster, right? Like lots of trap star, Nike Tech, Montclair. Like this is pretty much their sort of trip over there. Now, if you into this, right, you're either gonna be from the ends or you're just a little kid. Like, come on, you're just influenced by this shit, right? And you know what? We all been there, right? I'm sure we've all rocked cringe as fuck fits when we were young. But I do have to say, if you guys are looking for some inspiration or some, you know, general advice with your styling and stuff, I do have a free fashion cheat sheet just in the description, right? I'll put the link there for you guys. Now let's talk about menswear, and this might draw some parallels to business school, but think more your traditional style of wearing formal pieces, right? And this is a hot take here, my guys. Hot take in bound, right? But if you're heavy into menswear, right? Where this is kind of like all you wear, right? I'm gonna say this. You don't really have any real creative sense of style, right? You just play it safe with these bread and butter menswear looks. Now, let's get on to my e-boys over here. And again, this is a teenage fad. So if you're an e-boy, you're definitely 14, 15, or 16, right? But hey, 
I won't even lie. I'm not gonna lie. If you're an e-boy, you probably get some bitches, right? And I'm not gonna say all the bitches, but you've got like a niche appeal. Now, most bitches will label this as corny, but there's a subgroup of those young bitches, right, who eat this shit up. Especially if you're a pretty boy too, you probably bag a, you probably bag a lot of those weird looking bitches. So I'm gonna give you that. Next is the skater boy look. And if you're into this, you probably skate IRL or in Tony Hawk, or hell, even on Roblox, right? Your whole personality revolves around asking the bros what park you're gonna hit up next after school. And this one gets a lot of flack because of all the poses you see on Pinterest and Instagram acting like they're real skaters, right? And I know you real skater boys are just trying to end this. Just like I'm trying to end this video. 